Wayne Rooney, Cristiano Ronaldo, Michael Carrick. Manchester United used to be incredible at spotting talent, signing them and watching them become the best players in the world at the club. But recruitment has been awful for over a decade now. Lukaku, Sanchez, Van der Beek, Sancho, Di Maria, the list goes on. They've all contributed to over £1 billion being misspent in transfer fees, enough to buy Newcastle three times over. Revolution is needed, not evolution, and a new face to lead those changes. Maybe they need Christopher Vavell. Right then, who's Christopher Vavell, Manchester United's expected new recruitment director? Maybe in the short term, maybe in the long term. This video will tell you everything you need to know about his time in Leipzig, in Salzburg, in Hoffenheim, in Chelsea, and how he found players like Haaland, and Sesko and Sabozlai. Let's go. Vivelle is a respected football executive, known for his expertise in talent ID and recruitment. But he started his career back in 2010 as an analyst with Hoffenheim. And after just one year, he became a scout and match analyst for Hoffenheim's second team. He obviously performed pretty well because within two years, he was promoted to the same role in the first team. And then just after two years in that role, he took the most important step in his career and he joined the Red Bull group. He left Hoffenheim to become the head of Red Bull Salzburg's revered scouting department, and this is where his reputation grew rapidly. During his five years at Salzburg, he was very successful. He discovered and brought in tons of young players who were then sold on for big profits. He was a major success, but more on those players later. And in 2020, after success there, he made the step up to become technical director at RB Leipzig and continued to live up to his reputation he built at Salzburg, again, signing lots of incredibly talented young players and selling them for big profits after successful periods at the club. And inevitably, this drew interest from the Premier League, and it was Chelsea who came knocking. But unfortunately for Vavell, the end at Leipzig wasn't good. He actually spoke to Chelsea without permission from Leipzig, and he was sacked. This is what Leipzig CEO Oliver Mintzlaff said at the time. He said, Chris has certainly done a great job over the last two years, but in the end, things didn't fit anymore. If the trust is no longer there in football, cooperation no longer makes sense. And two months later, Vavell was appointed Chelsea technical director. Now, we know what happened there. He was only there for seven months. Todd Bowley came in. Chaos. I'll explain that more a little bit later on because I really want to tell you about the transfers that he made because I know that's why you're watching this video. United, our summer, it's been delayed by everything with Dan Ashworth that has gone on. So we need some expertise, someone with contacts, someone like Vivelle. And if you take a look at his time at Salzburg, there really are so many success stories. Some of the more notable signings that he made at Salzburg. They include Patson Dacca, who he signed at 18 for 250,000 euros. Karim Adeyemi for 16, 10 million euros. Erling Haaland, you might recognize that name, 18 for 8 million euros. And Benjamin Sesko, he signed as a 16 year old for 2.5 million euros. Dacca then moved on to Leicester for 30 million. Adeyemi moved to Dortmund for 30 million as well. Sesko is now playing for Leipzig, but when he does leave, the Red Bull group will make a massive profit. And well, I don't need to tell you about Haaland. Should have been joining Man United. That's a different question altogether. And probably the reason why we need someone like Christopher Pavel so we don't miss out on players like that again. And his excellent work just continued at Leipzig. He signed Gvardiol as an 18-year-old for nearly 40 million euros. It's a bullshit move, but it certainly worked. Andre Silva, 23 million euros. Simakon for 15 million euros. David Raum for 26 million. Werner for 20 million. Brian Brobby on a free. And Dominic Sapozla for 36 million euros. You can see the ages as well. 18, 25, 20, 24, 26, 19, 20. Typically young players. And that talent ID is so needed at Manchester United. Of course, Gvardiol went on to be sold to City for 90 million euros. Simakon is still at Leipzig. He's played over 100 games for them in the three years since he's been there. So Boslai obviously came through from Salzburg, but the talent was there. And of course, he's gone on to join Liverpool for a big profit again. And the other players there, like Werner and Brobby, they were sold for profits. All of it, good business. But the question I think a lot of you will rightly be asking as well is, well, what happened at Chelsea, Sam? Let me quickly explain. Simply put, it was chaos under Todd Bowling. Vivell was appointed to be in charge of football for Chelsea globally as they wanted to build out that multi-club model. Bowley and Clear Lake Capital, they changed their minds. Instead, they handed a lot of the control over to sporting directors Paul Wynn Stanley and Lawrence Stewart, who were brought in from Brighton and Monaco respectively. The role which Vivell was brought in for had completely changed. He was undermined. He now had superiors that weren't supposed to be there. He couldn't do his job properly and the goalposts have been shifted. And therefore, 
the job didn't exist anymore. And only seven months after coming in, he left. But that's not really a slight on Vivelle. That's more the fact that Chelsea just change everything. And if you want to look at recruitment successes, I don't think you look at how Chelsea operate. Let's have a look at their books in a couple of years' time when it all blows up in their face. So, what can United fans actually expect? Vivelle, he's coming in on a short-term contract initially. His immediate focus is probably going to be on enhancing the club's recruitment strategy, on talent ID, on spotting younger players. But of course, he does have experience elsewhere. He's worked in the multi-club model. So it may well be that Vivelle comes into Manchester United and maybe gets promoted into a permanent director of recruitment position. Maybe he actually steps and does something similar to what Omar Barada did in the City Football Group, where of course he was the CEO, I believe, of the whole City Football Group, overlooking 13 clubs. It could well be, conceivably, that Vivelle comes in this summer to bolster Ashworth and Wilcox and help them through this tough period because we haven't had time to plan properly and then gets moved upstairs as part of the multi-club model. An internal promotion, but somebody who is capable of doing that. Overall, Vivelle is going to be the person this summer who United fans are going to hope that he can spot these players like Haaland or Sesko or Sabozlai or Gavardiol and all these big names. The Man United typically, we've only been able to sign them after they've become big names. So I don't know whether it's actually going to be able to impact this summer in that sense. The talent ID, spotting younger players. But in terms of making the right signings, he can certainly help. Contacts list, he's got that. Experience in a multi-club model, he's got that. And also talent ID, I've just ran through that all. He's definitely got that. If United needed some expertise in recruitment, and we do, then Christopher Pavel is a pretty good bet. <laughs>